Hi there. So, today we're going to be doing a phone collection video. This is my very first attempt at making a phone collection video. And we have four categories of phones and tablets. The first category will be fully working. Basically, there is either some sort of mild inconvenience that makes them slightly bad to use, but they work fine, or they work without any issues. The second one is mostly working, which basically means it's working, but there is like, there is definitely some sort of issue if you ever want to use it as your daily driver. Three is partially working. Technically usable if you try really hard, but it's not really usable for an average consumer. And four, non-working, even if you tried really hard, it won't boot up. Or it will boot up, but it will boot loop, so you cannot use it. Alrighty. First up, my main phone, which I'm recording with right now, the Xiaomi 11T Pro. Works fully. Now let's get to the next one. Galaxy S7 Edge. Works fully as well. It does have a bad battery. Like, not a terrible battery, just slightly bad, because, like, it actually powers down quite quickly, but... But it's still okay. Next up, the AllView P6 Life, which has a similar issue to this Galaxy S7 Edge. And I actually managed to use this as my secondary device. Are you kidding me? Fine. I'm not gonna show the pattern for that one. Also, sorry for the bad video quality. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So, this works fine. This also has a case on it, but the case is in terrible condition. And this phone is also cracked slightly, if you can see it down here. And. And yeah, you can't really see it. Let's see if this camera can focus. So I can show you the cracks. Anyways, this works. Oh, it actually still has its full battery. You get this battery better than this S7 Edge. Yeah, which is good. Um, yeah, I actually managed to run my entire YouTube account on it. The only problem with this is that it has some screen burn in. It is definitely annoying, but it's fine. I think I could put this in the mostly working because of the AMOLED burn-in. So this is fully working, this one's mostly working. I still managed to use this as my secondary device though. It's a pretty good phone. Uh, next up we have a ZT Blade A410 and it's very similar to... Um, it's very similar to that phone in terms of how it boots up. Um, this one is locked on orange. And since I don't use that, I can't get calls. However, this thing actually works fine. The battery actually lasts for quite a long time. No, this isn't burning. This is just my camera doing stupid stuff. Anyways, it takes a long time to boot. But yeah, this one works fine except for the AMOLED burning and the slightly bad battery. This one works this one works perfectly. It just has a slightly bad battery as you can see right here. This one works perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I mean it's not that great of a phone, but seriously, it's like I'm I'm pretty sure it was meant to be like one of these really cheap phones. And it's like so this is okay. This is an 8 gigabyte in black. This is also an 8 gigabyte in black. This is a 32 gigabyte in black. Most of these are in black. Okay, this one is not in black. This one is in gray. So this is the Galaxy S4, and I'm just picking apart random phones. Anyways, this one is partially working. Like, it vibrates and everything, and you'll even hear it booting up, but sadly, the AMOLED is cracked. Next up, Huawei Y6 2018 has a similar issue to the, to the S4. This one has a broken LCD. You can actually see it. 
I'll wait for I'll wait for this thing to boot up. Meanwhile, I'll get another phone. This is the Galaxy S Plus. I'll put in the mostly working tier because it technically works, but it's so terrible. Its camera is filled with sand. Oh, so this thing is booting up. It doesn't make any sound, which is curious. Uh, anyways, uh, a Galaxy S Plus. This camera is filled to the brim with sand. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, this is wonky to use. Like, this is definitely wonky. Oh my god. Wow. Finally. Are we here? Oh wow. Let me try turning it off and on again. Yeah, this is gonna take a little while. Oh my god. Yeah, the touch screen is kind of terrible. The touch screen is wonky and the LCD is also wonky. I can actually kind of use it, but like... Oh, there we go. Yeah. I can actually kind of use it. In fact, I kind of used it to transfer the files from this one. But, um, yeah, this thing is definitely not usable to an average consumer. Uh, it's sad because the sides and the back are actually really clean. It's just that the front is sadly very cracked. This phone works, but it's terrible. So, oh my god, let me just turn this a little bit. Oh, never mind, it looks fine now. Oh my god, I can't overexpose it. Yeah. So this thing works fine, but... For example, in this game, this game doesn't even work. For some reason, it let me download it, but it will not work, as you'll see. Yep. It does not work. Uh, the other games do work, but it has a terrible battery, and, ha and it has a terrible camera because it has been filled to the with sand. You'll see it right now. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I think this should be enough proof that it has been filled to the brim with sand. Oh my god, let me just... Wow, this is so terrible. This camera is barely any better. Come on, focus. Let me turn on the brightness, oh my god. Oh wow, this is terrible. It only... Wow. Yeah. This is supposed to be a couch, by the way. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's super, super grainy. You can see how the couch is actually supposed to look on my main phone's camera. Yeah, this... This is just terrible. Uh, the front camera actually works better than the... Front camera actually works better, so let's flip to the front camera without accidentally leaking my face and anything. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just take a photo with the front cam- never mind. Yeah, but like, the front camera actually works because there hasn't been any sand in it. Yeah, it's, it's not great. And it also can't download many things from the Play Store because it's a really, really old phone. Well, dear God, the amount of notifications on that thing. Thank goodness I don't have a sound for it. Next up, we have this Galaxy Note 2, and this is untested. Uh, this actually used to be my main, in my previous main phone. So did this, actually. This one, you can see why I moved on. However, for this one, it actually wasn't broken when I moved on to another phone that I don't have with me anymore. Uh, then I moved on to my current main phone from that one. Anyways, this Galaxy Note 2 uh, has a missing power button and probably a broken charging port. However, I don't know how to I don't know how to boot this up because it has a broken power button, so I cannot boot this thing up. And it has a broken charging port, so I can't charge the battery. And I tried putting a charged battery, and like nothing will make this thing turn on. Like this might be non-working, but I I don't want to believe it. <laughs> I haven't tested every single method of getting this to work yet. So yeah. Untested equals partially working to me. This one is also a partially working device. This is the Samsung SGH F250. And 
this one has a broken LCD. It didn't have a broken LCD before, but I broke it while I was doing something stupid with it. I was basically sliding it all over the place like this. I just try to power this thing down. All right. Should we power down now? All right. Yeah. This thing will also go impartially working. Next up, we have this phone, which is the GT E2200. Pretty sure it will show up in the boot screen as well. Yep. It's fully working, and there's actually something cool about this thing. Focus. Anyways. Oh my god, the brightness is too high. Let me just lower down the brightness if this thing will let me. Alrighty, that took a while. Yeah, anyways, if you Wow, I swear this thing is overexposing everything. Anyways, you can actually select Facebook, Twitter, or Bluetooth. And you actually have access to Wi-Fi but you need to have uh, a SIM card in it. This thing is cool because it actually has a browser and everything. Like it's still an old bar style phone, but it's, it's actually cool. Next up we have an unfortunate case. This is the Galaxy 50. This used to be my father's main phone before he gave it to me. And I gave him my main phone. And it does not work. It is water damaged, and whenever you plug it in, it says that you like you can't power this thing on because can't power you can't charge it because it has water inside it and it needs to splash the water out. But at the same time, it has nothing to splash the water out with. I'm gonna take out the case just so you can see how it looks, and just why it was such an unfortunate case. It looks really good and it's, like, it's in actually mint condition. Well, apart from these cracks over here, but they're tiny and nobody can see them. Yeah, this is unfortunate because I can tell you the outlet is still working. Next up, another unfortunate case. However, this one I don't miss. This is the Miria Bubble. This is the Miria Bubble tablet and I despise it with it. What a deep passion. So first of all, this thing does not work. Dear God, that sound is annoying and loud. Anyways, the problem with this thing is that it boot loops. Even though you're seeing it turn on right now, after three minutes, it will shut down again because it has a Google search issue, where basically it tries to activate every single app that's on it while uh, before it turns on. And it tries to activate Google search at some point, but Google search does not work for some reason on this tablet. And as a result, when it tries to load Google search, it just crashes. I'll show you right now. Like I'm just casually scrolling through this thing. And like, you cannot access any of these apps, any of these apps, because it will immediately break after you access any of them. So technically, technically, you can casually scroll along this home screen, but if you try to use it, and never mind, you don't even have to. You just, you just have to turn it on for a few minutes, yeah. So turning it on for a few minutes will be enough for it to die. And I'm just gonna wait for this thing to die. Meanwhile, I'll be showcasing another tablet. Oh yeah, also, this one has a broken touchscreen. The part on top does not work. Uh, this one is an Aboda Essential A300, and this one is much less advanced than, than this Miria bubble, but at least it actually works. So let me put this in the fully working zone. It does have a, it has battery issues. So I guess that's... Alrighty. 
yeah. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to shut this thing down because I don't want to hear its food looping sounds all over again. And this thing is so slow. <laughs> Anyways, it has... This thing is working fine, it just drains its battery really quickly. But yeah, I actually used it as my main tablet. I used this one as my main tablet for a little while until it decided to do all of this. Yeah, it's not that great. Oh wow, unfortunately Google search has stopped before you even turn it on. Oh wow, oh no. What the? Oh god, no. Oh my. Everything is stopped. Oh wow. It has never shown the screen to me before. Wow, this thing is broken. I'm just gonna wait for this thing to die. Cause, like, powering off. It's, yeah, this thing is garbage. And it doesn't even work. Next up, we have two phones that I tested. They're fully working, but they're this one has a battery, but I don't have the charger for it. And this one doesn't have a battery, but it shares the same battery with that one. This is the Nokia 114. This is the Nokia 1112. They both work perfectly fine. This one has a color display, and this one has a black and white display. Alrighty, now I'm going to turn everything on. Yep. So that was all for today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.